Hello viewers of Sounding Board and tonight we're going to look at John Cena through the years. Since Monday, June 20th, 2027th, John Cena had his 20th anniversary in the WWF Wrestling. And Mattel has, has showcased throughout the years many different incarnations of John Cena in their elite or normal collection. And since the figures have swayed away from the less mobile figures to uh, elites, so you can do more poses and stuff, let's start with the prototype. John Cena's first thing. He's half man, half robot, but all wrestler. Let's lay the doctor's ergonomics down for a minute. He's all doc. He's all. He's all tough guy. And it's like he was a character with no character. But it's kind of funny having this young-looking John Cena. And then when they found out he could rap, Stephanie Man did. All of a sudden, we got the Doctor of Thugonomics. Word. Life. You know, and he was... He was a... Uh, a bad guy. With his chain gang. And his... Picking on, on all the good guys. And after a while, it's like after he, after he was... I think WWF was left with no other heroes... That they ran the gambit on him, seeing that he was popular as this villain. Let's see if he made it, if he made a heel turn and became a face. And as he made that turn from heel to face, people loved him because he still liked the Rock. At this point, a, the same um, villainous gray hero wrestler. Because gray hero wrestlers are easier. Or gray hero, gray heroes are easier to follow than in, let's say, comics. But John Cena then took this character and became about respect, loyalty, and uh, hustle, and about pro America, and he became the Captain America of the WWF and that's what he's been since you know we have had so many faces of John Cena and he's always stayed in this uh, gimmick which is kind of interesting and then we have Hollywood John Cena this one's just his Toretto version but Farland Toys made the Peacemaker a Peacekeeper one or Peacemaker, Peacemaker, John Cena, both with and without helmet, but no Eagly. Maybe McFarlane Toys will do another one with Eagly. And this is the, the uh, Toretto version, you know, the Fast and the Furious uh, one. Or the John Cena that said, a kiss butt to China is John Cena. We'll, we'll never be forgiven for that. Because Peacemaker would never uh, kiss butt to China. But John Cena would. And then, we've now got the old incarnation of John Cena. You know, just by the way the faces look on him. You know, look at him. They all look like different ages of brothers, maybe even. And this one's, as I call him, the John Bradshaw Lakefield John Cena. But, uh, yeah. Happy John Cena here is happy he's still remembered after 20 years. And he's still loved by fans and, and stuff. Him and his Fruity Pebbles. And so... When you look back at it, you go, wow, what do I do with all these John Cena figures? 
Hello, old John Cena. I am the prototype. I am robot and man combined into one. And then you got this John Cena. You can't see me. And this one actually had interchangeable hands too. So did this one. And then you got, hi guys, I'm John Cena from Fast and the Furious. You're the version of me that kissed China's butt. Oh, and I thought I was tough. Oh, I wish I had a time machine now. And I wish people could see me now. Well, yeah, it's it's like you got all these uh, incarnations of John Cena now. That you know, it's like very few wrestling figures actually look this different from each other. You know, you look at a Stone Cold figure, they're pretty much the same one, same as Bill Goldberg. But then there's guys like The Undertaker who all have, who, who, who have gone through so many transitions over the years. You know, John Cena with these shirts has had different shirts and hats as the line progressed. You know, he's even had some with tank tops, some without. You know, and you gotta gotta be impressed with the Mattel line because Jax had a good line, and they released a few of the Hollywood esque figures like John Cena as Hannibal uh, from the A Team, but not too many of them. And they always used the same heads over and over and over, but repainted the bodies with a different decal for the shirts. These ones have different heads, different decals, and different shirts as 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 you look at them. And different little props that go on. Like this one has the rings that go on his hand. And he has his chain for the chain gang. Something very important for a certain era of John Cena. Um, I'd have to say the weakest uh, John Cena that is this one. You know, because he's got that Arnold Schwarzenegger demeanor. And he uh, has a big head for an action figure. This one I, I think is funny because it's a it's a real scan John Cena, but it reminds me so much of John Bradshaw Layfield. Because put a little cowboy hat on him, ta you know, you could, if you had the ability to change the short area to uh, trunks, you would have John. You would have uh, basically people wouldn't be able to tell him or John Bradshaw Layfield apart. But until next time, this is the sounding board. Signing off.